everybody this is Michelle and I'm back because I wanted to share with you a different version of my photo file that I did this one was my prototype and then I used this one for my tutorial so this one here is made with simple stories simple vintage love story and it's a gorgeous collection that I purchased through country craft creations and I did a tutorial on it I'll go ahead and link that down below so you can go see the tutorial this video is i'm just going to share with you what it looks like with different papers so it's a great project i think it turned out fun and it's useful for a lot of different things so i just wanted to share this with you so i'm going to get this one out of the way this one is absolutely beautiful gorgeous but then i made this prototype this is the one that i kind of figured out everything with and I used a collection by Simple Stories again from my stash. This was called Birthday Bash, and it was back in 2020 that this came out. Had it in my stash for a long time and finally used it. So um, I did use it for some birthday cards that I had recently made, and then I used the leftovers to create this box. So it's done exactly the same way. So I'll kind of show you what it looks like. I use this beautiful ribbon here for the handles on the side for my stash, just really cute paper. Um, and then again, this one is just like the other one. I did do the magnet thing, so this does pop out. And I'll turn this around right side here so you can see that I used the chipboard pieces to decorate the inside. I did use some stickers on this one to decorate the inside. And then on the back here, I've got Birthday Boy. So this was a cute paper collection. I just thought it turned out really nice for this project. And then I'll show you this. We'll kind of flip through. This also has all of the pockets again and all of the journal cards. And then I did do the photo mats on this one as well. On this one, I had a lot of little cut aparts. So I went ahead and um, put some of those on the photo mats so that you could, um, you know, tuck your pictures behind. Let me make sure you're seeing this right yep you are and um there was a lot of cute little chipboard pieces so i layered those and um let me see that one kind of tucked underneath there but we've got cute little photo mats cute little journaling cards here and then i'll i'll turn this around and i'll show you the other side in a minute but again more chipboard some cute cut aparts and then i took some of the pattern paper and just made tags and it had stickers so i made tabs on the tops of those so lots and lots and lots of room to put your pictures again more little tags cut apart um, journal cards extra pieces for photo mats really cute all right so I love that little doggy, isn't he sweet? So I had this in my stash for, you know, a long, long, long time and decided that this was a perfect project to use it for. So let's turn this around and it says celebrate here. So there's a half inch gusset in between all of the pages. So you have lots of room to be able to, you know, put decorations on and really fluff it up. So again, more pattern paper to make tags. I used the leftovers. I smashed the stash um, on this one, so I just totally used it all up. On this one here, there's um, the little word stickers that come in the collection, so I use those in the gusset pieces. And I did do these differently. On my prototype, I cut all of the 3 8 inch pieces to put in between the pieces. In the tutorial, I'll show you a different method, so you only have to cut five of those. Um, really easy to do lots of cute stickers i just love how this came out it was really fun to put together very happy very fun and i have some girl paper i thought would be really cute to do this with too some um more um pastel birthday papers hip hip hooray for you lots of picture space which is amazing i just love how this turned out i love the fact that oh on this one because I kind of cut the paper upside down, so I covered it with a photo mat to try to disguise the fact that I punched the wrong end on that pattern paper. But I don't think, unless I told somebody, they probably will never know. <laughs> so there you have that. Um, I just think this turned out really, really cute. This one has a bigger cut apart in it. 
and I just I think it's really adorable and I just wanted to show you what it looks like with different papers and different colors um, layered a bunch of chipboard pieces here and just lots of fun cut aparts that I was able to pop in here so you have the two pockets and there you go so then this all again is um, the magnetic and it just pops in here like so and there you have it and again it does hold very well because you can actually pick this up by the pages so so yeah so I just wanted to share that with you what it looks like in different papers and um, yeah so go to the link down below in the description I have the tutorial for this particular project and um, grab your papers and have fun with it so thanks for watching and I will see you again soon with more stuff have a great day. Stay crafty. Bye-bye.